Look at me. It's Valley Vanna outside the house. Look at that. I'm outside. Anyway, where am I? I'm at Goodwill. Mrs. VV actually said we can go there. I didn't think we had the budget, but she said that she'll find a couple things. If there's something I really, really super need, maybe she'll consider. So let's try. I'm going to make sure there are things that I really, really need. Well, I was originally going to be doing a video today showing you what I bought from Jenny over at B-Sides, and I will be doing that eventually, but not right now. Um, I was given a small limited budget. Turn the air conditioner off. You probably hear me a little bit better, won't you say? Probably don't hear that. It sounds better now, doesn't it? Um, I did get a limited budget, and Mrs. VV surprised me. Um, because of my birthday being kind of like between checks-ish kind of a thing, it looks like she had a few bucks that she was able to let me do some thrift shopping and value vinyl shopping. Um, so I got a little bit of everything here. Some of this stuff's for me, some of it's for Mrs. VV, but I'm just going to show you everything that we got today out shopping. First thing, uh, she let me go to Bull Moose. Yes, Bull Moose. I had to go to a real record store. Woo! And in there, I picked up some more Lonely Boy CD Rescues. Woohoo! What did I get? Well, let's take a look here, gang. Nirvana's Incesticide. Some band named Necro with the prefix for death. Uh, we just got it because that's an awesome CD cover. Editing Steve here. Holy crap. So I'm thinking Necro, they're probably some like B death metal band where they're. <laughs> Something like, you know, there's tons of those, dime a dozen, you know. No! This is awesome. This is my favorite genre of music. What genre is that? That, that, um, it, it's rock and metal, but it's also hip hop. Yeah. Oh gosh. And this album is awesome. I'm just going to show you the, the title track from here, but this is, this is a vi vinyl discovery. No, this is a CD, just music discovery. I am loving this. This is right up my alley. Check this out. This is Necro, and this is the prefix for death. Oh, so good. Silo, because you're on a fugitive, and you're too PC to live. Double bass, courtesy of a wave from Voivod. I will destroy God, along with any other man from Messiah. you created to control me. It's all a game like a point guard. I stay rebellious, like pipe bombs being thrown at the police in Belfast. You'll be known as a beast after we block you with heavy metal like Hellfast. Crushing you is my mission to leave you a morbid stiff. Bludging you beyond recognition with distorted rip. Technical drums and rugged bass rip through your flesh. Concerto, I'm fixed. This classical acid, the prefix for death. Ace of Base, the sign. Yeah. Awesome sign. Uh, Josh and Jeff and Fresh Prince, home base. Remember, that's the one that's got summer, summer, summertime. And you saw my blinker, bitch. Day was Friday, date was a time. A girl was looking good on a strap. She smacked my hand when I put it on her dress. It hit me again and I'll break your wrist. That day I dressed all in white, taking my girl to Palm Springs for the night. I was hoping I could find a shortcut, I was tired, plus I had a rash on my butt. There was this lady in a pinto coupe, about 90 years old, I could tell by the droop. Driving all fast, borderline insane, glass so thick, couldn't stand her lane. I swerved left and I swerved right, but she was still tailgating me too damn tight. To the left lane, I tried to switch then, you saw my blinker, bitch. I remember that. So that was good stuff. Yes, I do not have a copy of the best album by Robert Van Winkle. Vanilla Ice to the extreme. Rock a mock like a vandal. Light up it stays. Wax a chump like a candle. Dance. Watch the speakers that boom. I'm killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom. Deadly. When I say a dope melody. Anything less than the best is a felony. Love it or leave it. You better gang way. Yeah, I could do the whole thing. Anyway, speaking of, right around the time, you can't have the one without the other. MC's Hammer. MC Hammers, please Hammer, don't hurt him on CD. So I got that on vinyl and CD. 
a city I used to own and I love. Whoa! Heaven let your light shine down. Collective soul, yeah. Hence allegations, things left unsaid. This was one of the records I wanted from that record store day. And I never got it, but now I got the CD again. Hopefully someday I'll get it on vinyl. Lim Biscuit, my generation single. With, I got it for mainly is it's like that y'all featuring Run DMC, a non-LP version, huh? I didn't know Lim Biscuit did a song with Run DMC. I had to get that. And finally, last following up there, I got a couple more. Red Hot Chili Peppers Greatest Hits. And Mrs. VV got a CD version of Forever Your Girl, Paula Abdul. And that's it. So these will be the next ones coming up where I'm going to be making new artwork for them, getting jewel cases, rescuing them. Some new CD rescues. Also at Bull Moose for 25 cents, I got... When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way from your first cigarette to your last dying day. The cassette for the songs from West Side Story. And, uh, yes, I'm the dumb guy that does this. Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops gotta travel on on cassette. Do I have a tape player? No, I, I, I don't. It doesn't matter because the tape's not in there. We brought this up to the front, and she's like, uh, the case's not in there. I'm like, so, but I can still buy the case for 25 cents, right? She's like, well, yeah. I'm like, I need it for my Arthur Fiedler collection. And so I gave her a quarter. Cuckoo! 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 Yeah, I bought that still. Anyway. <clears throat> then, I went to the record section. And in their discounted records that have used for 97 cents. Disco Duck and other hustle hits with instructions on how to hustle in the back from Pickwick, still in the shrink. 97 cents. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Light new condition. Look at that cover. Look at that. 97 cents. If you would have left that there, I would be very disappointed. This is perfect for me. And then, for 50 cents, I am a woman in love. Yeah, that's right. Barbara Streisand and the Bee Gees, well, technically Barry Gibbs, single for woman in love, 50 cents. So, that was me spending my small little budget over at Bull Moose. Wasn't much. As you can see, I only spent dollars. But look at all the great stuff I got for that. Then after that, we went to Goodwill. <laughs> I didn't spend all my budget there. I actually had a buck or two left over. But look what I found at Goodwill. What is this? I didn't know either. It says DJ Rap. That's like DJ Rap. I don't know who DJ Rap is, but it's called Good To Be Alive. And it says on here, limited edition promo only remixes by Johnny Vicious and the Drones. I'm like, well, that on its own's worth it. I mean, it's two dollars. I can't. It's not a bad deal. But here's the kicker, gang. It's not just a promo. It's a hand labeled promo. It's written by hand on there. <laughs> Seriously. Check it out. Now that is pretty cool for two bucks. No clue, but it sounds like it'd be music right up my alley. I don't know. Matter of fact, what I'm gonna do, let's see how what it actually sounds like over here. There you go! Was it worth two bucks? I still say yes. And finally, you can shut up in advance. And also, I do know many of you agree with me. It is unfair the amount of hatred and vitriol and hyperbole that is out there for certain music and certain bands. And I'll tell you right now, Animals, Phonograph, and Rockstar are great songs, and so I picked up at the Goodwill, I got the nickel back. That's right, all the right reasons. It's actually a complete CD that I don't have to do a restore on, and you know what? It's not horrible, and it's not complete garbage. They are a decent band. Are they my favorite? No. Do I like those songs? Yes. So there we go. Nickelback. 
So that is what I picked up today. There we go! Whee! It's a video! Um, oh. And, for all you that really care, I, I do collect and read all the Robert Jordan Wheel of Time series. I did find book seven, A Crown of Swords. Paid uh, $2 for that. Uh, you know, because I do like the reading. And I do like the Collecting the Wheel of Time series. I will finish reading that whole series uh, by the time I'm dead. I hope. That's my whole thing. If uh, I'm on the deathbed or something's going on or I feel like I'm close to death, I'm going to be like, no. I still got more books to read. So I haven't been reading them that fast. I'm thinking if I do that, I'll live forever. I'll be immortal. Just don't read the books too fast. It's how feeling I get to the very last book, close it on the that. My heart will stop, my brain will turn off, boom, death. I really think that. So, if you guys ever want to know, just ask me, hey, what book are you on and what chapter? I'll let you know and you can calculate yourself how much longer I got to live. Okay, bye.